Whether you're planning on recording your video game footage or you want to do live streams, there is one important device that you will need, and that is a video capture card. And when talking about capture cards, you probably came across the Elgato brand. However, Elgato is a bit expensive if you ask me. So if you're looking for an alternative, this device may be the best option for you. Join me in this unboxing video and let's take a look at what's included in the package. Then I'll show you my setup for it. And lastly, I'll show you some game footage captured from a PS4 and Nintendo Switch. I got the device for almost 600 Philippine pesos, 568 pesos to be exact. That's more or less 12 US dollars. I ordered this online through Lazada, and for those who's interested, I'll share the link in the video description below. So here we have the video capture device, the user manual, a USB cable with two male ends, and lastly, a micro USB cable. That's it. If you're planning on using a PC or a laptop as an alternative game display, you can do it with this device. And for recording or streams, you'll need a broadcasting software like OBS or XSplit. Now I'll show you how to set it up for recording or streaming. For this video, I'll be using my laptop as a display. To do that, take the micro USB cable and attach this end to the port that says DC5V. Next, have the other end attached into your gaming console. Now take the USB male to male cable and plug one end into the capture device. Have the other end plugged into the USB port of your computer. Now that the hardware is set, let's jump into the computer and set up everything else there. On your computer, open camera. You'll see here that I have the PS4 screen on my display. But if you're not seeing your game screen, just click the change camera button at the top right corner of this window. Now if you noticed, there is no audio as of now. To fix that, Open Control Panel, and then click Sound. Click the Recording tab, right-click Digital Audio Interface, and then click Properties. Click Listen, and then put a check on Listen to this device. Click Apply, and then click OK. That should take care of the audio. Next is to set up the broadcasting software. In this video, I'm using OBS. Once you have OBS open, Click the plus sign down here, and then select Video Capture Device. Click OK, and then for Device, choose USB Video, and then click OK. And that's it! You're ready to record or stream with a click of a button. Now let's take a look at these recordings from a PS4 and a Nintendo Switch. Now that you've seen some recordings of the device, now the question is, is it easy to use? Well, compared to the Elgato HD60S, there are more steps involved in setting this up. After installing the software for the HD60S, I didn't have any trouble making it work. As compared to this unbranded counterpart, you'll need to do some research first. The manual wasn't that helpful either, so I had to play around with the cables and tweak some settings on my own. But you know, like I said, with a little research, you'll be able to get the device working in no time. And after you're done with the configuration that works for you, it's gonna be smooth sailing from there. Now if you're gonna ask me, is it worth it? I would say that this is definitely worth it as a budget video capture device. I think it's safe to say that this is a bang for your buck purchase for your video game recording or streaming needs. And that's it for this video. Will you be getting this device? If you're still undecided or if you have questions about the capture card, be sure to drop a comment down below, and we'll get to that on our next video. Now's also the best time to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to help grow the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.